I think you're going to like this picture. Love That Bob. Starring Bob Cummings. This is the day you start your new job, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm so nervous. I don't know which direction's up. Oh, well, sit down and have some coffee. Thanks. <laughs> Boy, did I have nightmares. It's horrible. Well, that's just anxiety about your new job. It's very normal. Margaret, I think I'll call the missile factory and tell them I've changed my mind. I'm staying with the boss. Now, look. In the first place, you won't even be with the rockets. You'll be in an office, see? In the second place, you took this job so you'd meet some eligible men, which you've never been able to do working for Bob. Hey, what's he going to do without me? You know, he hasn't even hired anybody to take my place. Well, that's his own fault. You recommended a lot of fine girls, offered to break them in, but he turned them down. I'm going to call him this old factory. Look, don't you want a husband? Sure. A home? A yeah. family? Naturally. Eventually. Eventually. Josie, how long have you been with Bob? Oh, let's see. <laughs> five years. Seems like a day. Yeah, and another five years will seem like another day. First thing you know, four or five days will go by and you will be 50 years old. Really, Josie? Well, I never would have guessed you're pushing 50. <laughs> My goodness, only four days left, huh? <laughs> I didn't mean that the way it sounded. <laughs> Boss, if you still haven't found anybody to take my place, I'll, I'll be stop glad that, will you? It's his own fault if he hasn't. He hasn't been trying. What are you talking about? I've been trying very hard. I've interviewed dozens of girls. Really? I haven't seen any at the office. Well, I I've been seeing him in the afternoon. Sort of after work, kind of late in the day. At night. Yeah, that's when it was. <laughs> now, look, I've had to work overtime. It's not easy to find a girl to replace Schultze. Thanks, boss. I've had to look high and low. By high, he means Mulholland. And by low, the beach. No wonder he doesn't <laughs> bond anymore. As a matter of fact, I found someone just last night. High or low? Same place I found Schultz. Do you remember where that was, of course? Oh, sure. A bunch of us girls from the secretarial school used to eat across the street at Dave's Diner. Boss used to come in every night. Dave's Diner, isn't he a friend of yours? Yeah. Whom did you hire? Uh, a waitress from Dave's Diner. Oh, really? Oh, now, wait a minute. Now, I know what you're thinking. I didn't hire this girl because she has a pretty face or a pretty figure. That's not what I'm thinking. Me either. I'm thinking you did. Well, in that case, you're right. <laughs> well, I hasten to point out that these are very important qualifications for a receptionist. How do you suppose I lasted so long? <laughs> hey, Chelsea, look mm -hmm. at the time. Aren't you supposed to be at the missile factory? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, good luck, Chelsea. Thanks, boss. Keep, keep in touch, hmm? Yeah. Well, bye, Margaret. Bye. Hey, boss, I'd yeah. better stay on a few days and teach the new girl the office routine. Oh, no, that won't be necessary. Thanks. I'll, I'll take care of it. Well, she mm. won't know what to do about the bookkeeping and filing. Oh, well, I'll show her. <laughs> well, who'll show her what to do in the dark room? Do you care to withdraw that question? Please. Thank <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's about time. Oh. Hi there, Margaret. Hi. I thought you might be needing some help. Well, I, I told you I hired a girl. Yeah, where is she? Well, it's her first morning, and she worked late last night at Dave's. Dave's. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be glad to give you a hand until she gets here. Oh, no, no, that, that won't be necessary, Margaret. Thanks, just the same. What's the matter? Don't you want me to meet her? Now, you know that isn't it. It's just that, well, she's an extremely sensitive girl. And, and it might make her nervous. I mean, you're uh, being here watching her, see. Oh, well, of course, if you'd rather I'd go. I would, really, Margaret. Because she may be just a little shy with me at first, you see. Hi, Dad! <laughs> well, uh, Miss, Miss, Miss Billington. <laughs> Get him! This morning, it's Miss Billington. Last night, it was crazy lips. <laughs> Come on in the studio. I'll show you around. Wait a minute. What's this studio bit? You said I sit at the desk to be your receptionist. Take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. That's what you said. Sit at the desk and take it easy. Wow. What are you whispering about? She's my sister, and it's embarrassing. What's to be embarrassed? She looks all right to me. <laughs> Can't you lower your voice? Sure. 
sure. I can talk way down here. Oh, you are a sexy sounding receptionist like Miss Monitor. The temperature in Atlanta. <laughs> Just don't talk so loud until she leaves. Oh, are you leaving, honey? Gee, awful nice to meet you. Thank you. If you're anything like your brother, your top's on my menu. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Gee, he's a swell Joe. Like last night when he offered me this job. I says, what time do you want me to get to the office in the morning? And he says, like, wait till you wake up. So, like, why didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, this is your desk right here, Mary, and this Please is your typewriter. Yes. Yeah. Now, anything you want, you just call me. I'll be in the studio. Bye, Margaret. <laughs> is that your name, Margaret? Yes. Do you like people who call you Maggie? I abhor it. Yeah. Nicknames are friendly. <laughs> and I want us to be friends on account of Big Liddy Bear. Who? Big Liddy Bear! <laughs> Crazy Lips, what do you want? <laughs> uh, let's get busy out here, please. Bye, Margaret. Goodbye, Big Liddy. supposed to answer the phone? Oh, yeah! Mistakes in this monitor bit. <laughs> I think I'll be going. Goodbye, Mary. Bye, Maggie! <laughs> oh, wait! Why don't you? <laughs> yes! Hi, boss. This is Schultze. Oh, hi, Schultze. How come your new receptionist didn't answer? Oh, uh, uh, she's uh, she's retouching some some negatives right now, Chelsea. Already? Oh yeah, yeah. She learns very quickly. She's uh, she's an extremely intelligent girl. Bob Collins, photography. Oh, I've got it, uh, honey. Who's this? Your boss. Oh, hi, Dave. How's the diner? <laughs> your new boss. Piggledy Bear? Who's that? Will you hang up, please? Yeah, get off the phone. I meant you. I've got it in the studio. You've got what? The phone. Oh, I got one in here, too. <laughs> Will you hang yours up? Why'd you call me? I didn't. My phone rang. <laughs> that was me. There's that woman again. She called me from the outside. You mean like from a yard? <laughs> yes, yes. So like, hang up. If you can't talk polite to me, I'm not going to stay on the phone. Thank you. That's better. Now I'll stay. <laughs> Will you hang up, you bubble brain? Say, boss, if you're having a problem with that new girl... Oh, no, no, Shelby. My goodness, could, couldn't you tell? We, we, we were just clowning. <laughs> well, she doesn't sound like the brightest character in the world. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, Shelby, how's everything going along with your new job there at the plant? Oh, just, just great, boss. It's a real glamour job. Oh, oh, really, Shelby? Uh, tell me, have you met any men yet? Have I? There's this one fellow that just keeps coming in and bringing me presents and begging me for dates. Oh, oh, swell, Schultze. Oh, I'm just being treated like a queen around here. I'll, I'll see you guys Sunday afternoon. Another present from the Falcon Rocket Division, baby. Excuse me, he's here again. Are you back, knucklehead? Look, you already brought me enough work for ten girls. You keep calling me knucklehead and I'll bring you enough for twenty. Okay, blow. Hey, what about the party tonight, huh? 
I'll call you back. They, they want to throw me a big party. <laughs> Bye. What big party? Just you and me. Well, why don't you get yourself a dictionary and find out the meaning of the word no? Miss Schultz, honey. Miss Schultz to you. <laughs> Who do you think you're kidding with this hard to get routine? Dames take this job for one reason. To meet guys. You're a dame. I'm a guy. We met. Let's live. Huh? You don't get out of here. You're not going to live much longer. Now you're talking my language. So you want to get physical, huh? Look at these muscles. Cute. Now do it with the one between your ears. Listen, baby, the dames around here don't find me so hard to take. So go take them. Uh, too anxious. I like a little resistance. More fun. Oh, you just gonna get nothing but fun from me. Well, you put your grimy mitts on me and my boyfriend will tear you to pieces. Him? This pretty boy. Look, he's plenty tough. He gets in my way, I'll give him such an uppercut. He'll be combing his nose. <laughs> hey, but you know, if a guy like this goes for you, you must have something special. I do, and it's all his. <laughs> What's his? Look, I'm warning you. He's very jealous. He'll murder you. He will. He'll murder you. <laughs> to work. When you talked me into quitting my job as a waitress, you said we'd have laughs. <laughs> There's one. Now get back to your desk. You, you said that... It's a customer. But could Take we... care of it! <sighs> oh, all right. Oh. Me. I believe Mr. Collins has some photographs for me. Uh, my name is Williams. Take out or you want to look at him here? Well, I, I want to take them home with me. There are two 11 by 14s in color and four 8 by 10s in black and white. Uh, oh, and he said that I could uh, take the negatives. Coming right up. Order for Williams to go to 11 by 14s full treatment for 8 by 10 all the color and a side of negative. Come back, little Schultz. Good mind, Margaret. I've been listening to a vacuum all morning. <laughs> Craziness. Oh, brother. Well, you can't have everything, and she has a very nice figure. Yeah, that she has, that she has. 3623, 3623. What's that last 23? Her IQ. <laughs> Mark, you suppose Schultz's happy in her job at the missile plant? Don't you dare bother Schultz. For the first time in her life, she's got a chance to meet some men. Now, you leave her alone. I just wondered if she was happy, that's all. You're just wondering if you can get her back, that's all. Because you goofed and picked a lemon. Boy, a lemon is right. 
I had no idea when I squeezed her last night how sour things were going to be today. <laughs> Such a feather brain. Oh, I don't know. I dropped by Dave's diner and told him I needed a girl. He recommended Mary and said she was great. Praised her to the skies. And you took his word for well, it. Well, honey, you know how long I've known Dave. We were overseas together. We were buddies. I introduced him to his wife. Matter of fact, if it hadn't been for me... <laughs> he finally got even with me, didn't he? <laughs> Hi there. My goodness. You? <laughs> you had lunch, oh, huh? Oh, yes, thanks. I was just out driving on my lunch break, and I saw your car parked out in back. Anything wrong with the studio? Yeah, no, no. Anything wrong with the missile plant? Oh, no. No. Oh. How's the new girl? Yeah, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> How's the new boyfriend? Shorty, you got a boyfriend already? Well, there is this one fellow who's kind of after me. Oh, I bet he's one of those brilliant rocket scientists, huh? Well, he's in the rocket division. Ah, oh, go on. I bet he's the head of it. Yeah, you could call him Rocket Head. <laughs> well, I guess I better get back to the plant. Uh, Shorty, you're, you're, uh, you're happy in, in the new job, aren't you? Oh, sure, sure. Never a dull moment. Yeah. You're happy with your new girl. Oh, happy isn't the word. I'm hysterical. <laughs> Yeah, well, you call me if you need me for anything. Yeah, yeah, I will, Shilty. And the same to you, too. Yeah. Well, so long. Yes, so long, Shilty. Bye, Margaret. Bye. Good luck with your rocket, man. Yeah, thanks. Men like that don't grow on trees, you know. Well, that's right. They swing from them. <laughs> you I say, I gotta swing along. Bye, Shilty. Bye. 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 Hi. The model's here for the barber pictures? In there, waiting. da 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 well, I'm not. Oh, yeah? Well, there's a kid in there that says he's your nephew. <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever had a manicure. This is the first time I've ever given one. Oh, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, folks. All right, hop down, Chuck. Now, Bill and, and Frank, let's go. Right. Oh, okay. Bill, you better touch up your lips. Just a little smear there. Now, let's see. What is this first? Uncle Bob? Yeah, yes, Chuck. Boy. Uncle Bob, how are you fixed for money? Oh, fine, thanks. I don't need any. <laughs> well, there's a dance tonight, and I'm a little short. Well, dance with a short girl. Nobody will notice it. <laughs> Uncle Bob, what I mean is... Chuck, see... look. If you want something, just come right out and ask for it. I don't like people who beat around the bush. Uncle Bob, can I have ten bucks? No, but I like you better now. Hold it, sister. Look, I gotta warn Mr. Collins. Steve's on his way. Oh, Steve! Oh, never mind. Stop me. Bob! Push me, kid. I like flatten you. Just let go of me, will you? Schultz, you're back. What is this? Is this the mother of your nephew? I can't. <laughs> Uh, uh, coffee break. I just had coffee. Now. And a donut. Out! If you yell at me once more, I'm going back to the diner. Out! <laughs> Schultz, I just can't tell you. You can nail my severance. <laughs> Terrible to tell you. you. You better sit down. Oh, no, no, no not right now, Chelsea. I don't have time. Tell me, go ahead. Well, I, I told this gorilla out at the plant that you were my boyfriend, and he's on his way over here to beat you to a pulp. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. He was pestering me, and I thought that'd get rid of him. Schultz, you, you mean he's really tough? Well, he lifts rockets for exercise. Golly. Um. Would you like me to get rid of him for you, Shelby? Boss, he's a monster. Answer my question. Well, yeah, how? You've heard of psychological warfare, Shelby. Yeah. You're going to see it in operation right now. Chuck, boy, 
Yeah, Uncle Bob? Would you bring that prop door over here, please? And fellas, Mildred, I got an extra job for you. Sit down, sir. Steve, don't... Well, he's in there, but please don't go in. Stand oh, it. Steve, I'm begging you. Your blood will be on my hands. That's too... <laughs> <laughs> Whose blood? Yours. You, you know who he is, don't you? Yeah, Bob Collins. Well, his professional name is Killer Collins. <laughs> Killer Collins? Yeah, well, certainly you've heard of... Oh, no, that's right. You're from the East, and he was Pacific Coast champion. Of what? Boxing. <laughs> Who are you kidding me? All right, where is he? I take it this is the foolhardy young man? I'm afraid so. Who are you? I'm Mr. Darrow, the attorney for the building. Uh, would you sign these papers for me, please? Sign what? Well, it's nothing, really. It's just a release absolving the owners of the building and Mr. Collins from all legal and financial responsibilities in connection with your hospitalization. I ain't going to no hospital. Well, don't you think we ought to let the doctor make that decision after the killer, um, Mr. Collins, has finished with you? I'll go tell the doctor we're ready for him. Thank you. Now, just sign right here, sir. <laughs> I ain't signing nothing. Look, that's a felony for a prize fighter to strike an ordinary man. Now, it would be much different if he were fighting men like these again. Hey, did Collins fight these guys? Read the inscriptions if you like. Baby, you're the tops. Maxie Rosenblum. Read this one. To the greatest Max Bear. Now, what do you say? That's him, Doctor. Oh, yes. Hey, what is this? Why, please. He's the doctor for the building. But I don't want to get a hell. Exhale. Oh, this man's in great shape. He'll take a tremendous beating. Oh, please, don't go through the you're much too nice looking to have your face all mashed in and your bones broken. <laughs> yes. The killer would only lay off those kidney punches. That's what keeps him in the hospital so long. <laughs> the, the killer wants to know if that sucker's here yet. You him? Well... Okay, champ, he's here! Will you sign now? No, no! I'm not going to let him do it. Nurse Hawkins, you're overstepping your bounds. Unlock that door. Doctor, please. I don't mind accidents or operations or anything like that. But to see this nice-looking young man all mangled and bleeding. Open the door! sign the release. Not yet. He'll sign it when he comes to. No, no, no. Don't you dare hit me. It's a felony. You can go to jail. You see, I'm only a kid. Give him a break, killer. I know he won't bother me anymore. Listen, killer. I don't even know her. I, 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 I came in here by accident. I, I, I'm on my way back east. Let me out of here! Strongest guy I ever saw. What a brute. <laughs> Man, God. Well, I guess we might as well get the picture. Yeah, Come on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we'll have to bring the killer, too, first. What happened? <laughs> by Barbara Nichols, Steve by Steve Marlowe, Frank by Michael Rode, Mildred by Kathleen Hughes, Mr. Williams by Jack Holland, and Bill by yours truly, Bill Baldwin.